Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Adriana, and today I'm here with a grocery haul from two stores. My first store that I'm going to talk to you about is called Grocery Outlet. It's the first time I have done, no, it's the second time I've done shopping there. Um, and it's like an outlet store for food. And I discovered this from my mom who told me about it. And so I went and tried it. Um, and it's just one of those things that food, the items they carry are never consistent. So it's always changing. So it's kind of like a treasure hunt. You have to go there, um, on, you know, weekly or monthly or whatever and see what they have. But I went there. So I'm going to share some of the prices that I got there. And then I also went to Target because Target was having $15 off an $80 purchase of groceries. So, you know, your girls stocked up on some stuff and, um, you know, I've reported, not reported, but I've talked to you guys about going oil free and okay, bud, get some water about our family going oil free. And that did not go well. <laughs> we did it for about two months and then the kids were like done. They didn't like the snacks that I was finding. Um, a lot, it, it, the, so the kids are in school, so the snacks they would need was just like, they didn't like them. So, and it just, it was a lot of work because oil or this type of oil literally is in everything. So, um, my husband complained too, so we are no longer like not oil free, but um, we checked our the processed oils in our food. So um, we have definitely taken a break from that. My husband is okay with just going organic, like that's the lifestyle, that's what he wants in his groceries, and he's okay with maintaining that. But he said the whole um, processed oil thing was just a little too much. So you'll see in this grocery haul some things that I grabbed, some treats, because the kids are ready to enjoy some food <laughs> that is not containing, or mom's not, you know, putting some boundaries on. So anyways, I'm gonna share, you, share with you the grocery haul from Grocery Outlet and Target. Okay, so we're gonna go, go ahead and start with this coconut milk. My kids really like jasmine, um, coconut milk jasmine rice. It requires one of those cans, so that was $1.99. And so I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments how these prices compare to your stores too. So um, let me know. So anyways, then we got this Kinder's Italian Chop House seasoning, $5.99. Kinder's makes really good seasoning. Um, these ice cube gum, we give, I give them to my kids in the car. Uh, helps keep them quiet. But and at school and just all that stuff. So, anyways, this is one ninety nine at Grocery Outlet. I have paid four forty nine for this at Target. So it was good to find it there. Um, avocado. This was two dollars for a large avocado. And then I went ahead and I tried this low carb flaxseed bread. I usually get Ezekiel bread for myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. And this one was three sixty nine. I grabbed some potatoes because I'm going to make a soup, um, like a, just a veggie soup with potatoes in it. And those were, I think, $2.25 for the two of them. I grabbed some bell peppers. There's six here for, or no, there's two, four, five. Five here for $3.99. And then my kids saw this pizza. And you know what? It is Memorial Day, and I'm like here for it. You know, easy dinners, I'm here to relax too. So we grabbed two of these pizzas. I, we grabbed some bananas. Let me see how much those were a pound. Let's see, bananas, they were three for a dollar. And we got 14 bananas. So it was like just under $5. Then we got these Kettle Brand potato chips. They were two for five. We got sea salt and vinegar and barbecue, backyard barbecue. We got some organic strawberries. Those were actually $3.49 for the one pound. My kids love cherries. I usually just put them on a bowl on the counter and they just pick from them and eat them as they are out and about. So we got some of those and 
We went to a farmer's market and they were $12.99 a pound at the farmer's market. And I love supporting people at the farmer's market, but at the same time, I gotta be conscious about um, our budget too. So these were $1.93 um, a pound. And I think there's just, just under three pounds there. So that came out to like $6. So we're gonna do some cherries, and then we got a full bag, I think this is like five pounds, of these cosmic apples. If you have not tried these cosmic apples, they are absolutely delicious. And at Target, you can get a two pound bag for $4, and here, um, you can get a five pound bag for $5, so a dollar a pound. I think it's five pounds. Where's the weight of this? I'm pretty sure this is fine. And then, um, so this is funny. I have a, I've gone to a friend's house and she makes Rice Krispie treats for like a girl's night or something. And I, she called them um, churro Rice Krispie treats. And so she said she just put cinnamon and sugar on them. And I was like, well, they taste different. But anyways, long story short, I think she uses the cinnamon sugar Rice Krispies to make them. So I found those. And because it's Memorial Day, I was like, that'd be great just to have as a little treat too with some barbecues. So I bought those and we're able to get um, two like nine by 13 um, Rice Krispie treat squares. So I brought this and these were $2.99 for the family size. And then the marshmallows, the Jet Puff ones for 10 ounces was 99 cents. So that's a really good deal too, because they're usually I think $1.49. And then lasting at Grocery Outlet, we bought um, some ears of corn and they were 59 cents each. So the whole total for this was $65.98, which I think is really good. So now we'll go moving on to Target. Okay, and then so here's Target. I bought these outshine strawberry lime and raspberry fruit bars they had a target circle for 15 percent off of those and then um for what's on our dinner menu this week is caesar salad um chicken wraps so i bought two bags of that i bought 24 um string cheese i'm gonna have a pasta salad this weekend so i gotta grab the red lentil rotini one have not tried this yet, but um, I've tried one similar at Trader Joe's. And then I grabbed a big family size box of Honey Nut Cheerios. And then for lunches next week, I grabbed, because it's the last week of school, thank goodness. But I grabbed the Uncured Pepperoni Cheese Lunchables for a quick throw in there. I grabbed some Honey Ham, two of these actually, and these are a pound each. And for my vegetable soup, I grabbed a big head of cabbage. I grabbed some organic old-fashioned oats for myself. I really am into making um, overnight oats with blueberries and it's just super easy. Love it. So I grabbed some more of those. Um, we got some yogurt at the farmer's market and the kids wanted some crackers to dip into it. So I grabbed some honey graham crackers, some olive oil, and then for the chicken Caesar salad wraps, I grabbed garden spinach. And that is it. So anyways, this little Target, so you can see this Target was $70 and they had um, that 15 off of 80. So $70 for that. And then I paid 65 for this from Grocery Outlet. So I feel like you can kind of see the difference. Okay, you guys, thank you for joining me on a short grocery haul. Again, it was Grocery Outlet and Target. Um, but those cinnamon sugar Rice Krispies, I have to tell you guys, they are absolutely delicious. Think of like your best churro that you've ever had. And it's like that, but with like a marshmallow fluff in there. It's so good. But I know there's a million ways, not a million, but um, with the marshmallows, do you guys use mini marshmallows or do you guys use the big marshmallows? Because I have found that to make a good Rice Krispie treat, use the mini marshmallows. So anyways, tell me in the comments what you use, uh, the big marshmallows or the mini? And um, what other cereal do you guys use for Rice Krispie treats? 
So tell me in the comments, can't wait to hear about it. And I will see you guys in my next grocery haul video. Hopefully that is a Costco haul. Um, and that has changed too. I will do a Q and A at the end of that one because I did get some questions about my last Costco grocery haul. So hopefully I'll be able to answer some of those, but for now this was just a quick one and I will see you guys then. Bye.